Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here and welcome or welcome back to a new video on the channel and today guys, we're going to be very quick to start this video. We've got round 16 to 23, 2023 AFL fixture revealed. See in today's video, we're going to be going through every game and going over what I think about the fixtures. So we're going to start it off round 16 Thursday night, Brisbane and Richmond at the Gabba. I, I think we knew, I think a lot of us did knew, did know this was going to be a Friday, uh, the Thursday night game. Friday night, Sydney versus Long SCG, Crows versus North, and Dogs versus Fremantle are both the two um, Saturday uh, 145 games. Surprised that the Dockers and um, Dogs and Dockers was given that. Gold Coast and Collingwood is a Saturday twilight game. Essendon versus Port Adelaide Saturday night game. This fixture is already surprising me. I uh, didn't think that was going to get prime time, but Essendon have been rewarded and are one of the bigger winners of this fixture personally. Hawthorne and Carlton first game Sunday, Melbourne versus Giants Sunday Channel 7 game, and West Coast versus St Kilda to end off round 16. Round 17 starts off on the Thursday night between Richmond and Sydney at the MCG. Friday night is the Dogs and the Pies at Marvel. First game Saturday is Brisbane versus West Coast at the Gabba. Giants and the Hawks Saturday twilight game, two Saturday night games St Kilda and the D's at Marvel. That should be an exciting contest. And then the other game is Port Adelaide and Gold Coast at the Adelaide Oval. Probably the worst one of the two. We move to Sunday now. Geelong and North at GMHBA. Essendon and Adelaide, the Sunday 250 Channel 7 game. Um, this is an exciting one, I reckon. I reckon the AFL fixture that one quite well. I was hoping and possibly thinking this one could go in that slot. Got that one quite right. And an interesting free on Carlton is the last game on the Sunday. Very interesting. I thought this was going to be Saturday night game, but no. Um, Carlton have almost been booted out of prime time due to their form. Round 18 on the Thursday night kicks off with the Swans and the Dogs, the SCG, the Ds take on the Lions on the Friday night game. This one was quite anticipated among fans. Collingwood hosts Fremantle in the first game on the Saturday and then the Suns take uh, on the Saints. Also in that Saturday afternoon um, time slot, Saturday twilight game goes to Carlton versus Port Adelaide at Marvel. I reckon that one will be a good one. Again, surprise, that one didn't get prime time either. Geelong and Essendon at GMHB on the Saturday night. That's interesting. And the Crows and the Giants also uh, are the Adelaide over one Saturday night uh, slots as well. Only, believe it or not, two games on the Sunday, so this will be a bit more of a, of a restricted round, but it'll be North Melbourne and Hawthorne at Marvel and West Coast and Richmond and Optus. Round 19 kicks off with Essendon hosting a Friday night game. Did not see this coming. Essendon are hosting a Friday night game versus the Western Bulldogs at Marvel Stadium. Richmond are taking on Hawthorne first game on the Saturday and then Carlton and West Coast as well um, on the Saturday. Then it is going to be this. This this was the shock of the fixture. Brisbane and Geelong Saturday, 4.35 at the Gabba. I don't know how this one got there. This was going to be Friday night game for all money, and this one probably would have been a um, the Channel 7 Sunday game. But Brisbane and Geelong, Saturday Twilight. Don't know how that happens. Port Adelaide and Collingwood, I believe, will be the Channel 7 Saturday night game, the Adelaide Oval, and then the Dockers and the Swans, also quite an intriguing matchup with the other Saturday night game. Giants and Suns is the first game on the Sunday. Adelaide, yet again, getting another Channel 7 Sunday time slot, this time versus the Ds at the MCG. Again, interesting fixture. I didn't think this one would win a Channel 7 game. And then the Saints and North finishes off the round at Marvel. Round 20, Collingwood and Carlton get the Friday night game. Feels like forever since these two sides have played on a Friday night. And this is Carlton's one of two only prime time appearances in this fixture. Then it'll be the Dogs and the Giants and the Cats and the Dockers taking on each other in the first games Saturday. The Q Clash is going to get the Twilight time slot. And then it's going to be Essendon and Sydney, which is what I believe will be the Channel 7 Saturday night game. Great fixture in there. And then also the Showdown, which will also win Saturday night as well. Um, Hawthorne versus St Kilda will be the first game on the Sunday. Richmond and Melbourne will be the Sunday Channel 7 game. And then West Coast versus North Melbourne, a seller dweller, will finish off the round. Round 21 kicks off with the Dogs taking on the Tigers at Marvel. And then Essendon taking on West Coast at Marvel as well. First game Saturday, the Crows taking on the Suns' second Saturday afternoon game. Hawthorne and Collingwood will win over the time the uh, twilight time slot at m the MCG. Then it'll be the Cats and the Power in what, again, I believe would be the Channel 7 Saturday night game. And then GWS will take on Sydney at Giant Stadium in the uh, in the other Saturday night game, which probably will be quite an interesting block of Saturday night games. Sunday, North take on the Ds at Blunston. The Saints take on the Blues in that Channel 7 Sunday time slot. And then another interesting one, but the Dockers will be taking on the Lions in the last game of the round um, in round 21. Round 22, 
not not surprising. Collingwood and Geelong on the Friday night at the MCG. North Melbourne will take on Essendon first game Saturday and then also a Saturday afternoon game between the Swans and the Suns. Now, the Lions will be taking on the Crows in the Saturday Twilight game and then the Blues, only their second prime time appearance, will be taking on the Demons in a Saturday night thriller, hopefully. Uh, we know this happened last year and the Blues just fell short. Uh, we'll be seeing a repeat of that. And then a very late uh, starting time for a Saturday night game here between West Coast and the uh, Dockers in Perth. Late starting time. It will be a 6-10 start um, in Perth. So a prime time derby for them. Uh, and then we move to Sunday's games. Not surprising that Hawthorne will be taking on the Dogs first game Sunday. Saints and Tigers will be the Channel 7 Sunday game. Not a surprise either. Then Port Adelaide and Giants will round out the round at the Adelaide Oval. And the final round of this fixture round 23, the Pies and the Lions at Marvel Stadium what is another big prime time um, game for Collingwood. Richmond take on North first game Saturday. And then it'll be the Suns and the Blues as well in the other Saturday, Saturday afternoon game. Giants take on the Bombers at the Saturday Twilight Time slot at Giants Stadium. And then the Saints and the Castle go head-to-head on a Saturday night. Also, Crows versus Sydney. So two big games here. Probably some of the better contests in Round 23. The Dogs will take on the Eagles first game Sunday. Melbourne and Hawthorne. Hawthorne will win a Channel 7 game. Uh, 3-20 at the MCG versus the Demons. The Demons have actually had quite a few Channel 7 games, some versus Adelaide and Hawthorne, just to name a couple. And then the Dockers take on the power to end off the fixture. And then, as we know, round 24 um, is, is um, yeah, unconfirmed. But I can give you a little bit of insight into what we do potentially know. Sorry for background noise there. But anyway, though, it is going to be the... What we do know is that the Swans and Demons may claim prime time, but is Essendon and Collingwood the big one at the moment, which could get Friday night, and then other games which could be in the running for prime time include Geelong and the Western Bulldogs, Port Adelaide and Richmond, and probably Sydney and the Demons, and maybe even Brisbane versus St Kilda. Um, but anyway, though, back to what we do know. I'm just going to go through the fixture um, while I wrap it up. But very interesting. We've got some very interesting sides playing at some very interesting time slots. Um, very interesting. I felt like this fixture is a little bit different to what we all may have had in mind. Um, but, yeah, it does look absolutely amazing. And it looks like we've got a great finish to the year coming up. Um, but, yeah, some big winners in the fixture included Essendon and Collingwood for mine. Adelaide got some very good... Um, uh, time slots, the derbies, Q clashes and all that got good time slots as well and Collingwood were a big winner taking home a lot of Friday night, um, yeah, Friday night games. But anyway, that's going to wrap up today's video. Feel free to let me know what you think of the new fixture down in the comment section and if you are new, please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that, and hit that notification bell. Sending you guys another video on the channel. Thank you guys. It was smart. Bye everyone. Flame for the air.